What's going on, Libras? So you have the Moon, the Eight of Pentacles, and you Libras have the King of Wands. <clears throat> so the Moon represents you Libras basically staying out of the way. Um, you're much more getting your priorities handled on the low. The only thing that others will see, whether it's from whether it's on social media or friends that you know. The only thing that they will know is what it is that you tell them or what it is that you show. But a lot of you Libras very much so are, you got some things cooking in your lives that you want to keep close to your chest. You want to keep a secret. You're being very uh, wise and judgmental, right? Discerning about who it is that you share your inner world with, especially when not only that too, not only financially, but also emotionally as well. The Eight of Pentacles and the King of Wands, like I said before, school kids are graduating. But like it is that I said before, you uh, Libras understand that not everybody is going to be having your best interest in mind. Not only that, but also, um, not only that, but also, you know, it's better to keep things a lot secret, a lot more secret, secretive than what it, than how you used to be. You know, Libras, if y'all are not careful, y'all can essentially tell everybody your plans. And for whatever reason, you know, people who act like they have your best interest in mind, who are around you, AKA so-called friends, which not really in the long run, they can end up kind of trying to stop you from achieving and going where it is that you want to go. But the Eight of Pentacles represents, again, addition by subtraction. You Libras don't have to have this dysfunctional person in your life. You don't have to have dysfunctional people in your life. You're not, you don't. And on top of that, much more money, much more less nonsense, less emotional drama, baggage that other people have. See, you're realizing that it's other people having them in your life. You got to start screening the quality of the people that you have in your life because because they come into your life and now they want to mess things up. So you're realizing, you know, maybe you Libra should be lone wolves. And if not lone wolves, you do need to screen the quality of the people that you Libras have. The Eight of Wands and the, and the Unalive card is about how, see, there's that eight again. It's about how, you know, you don't have to have all this amount of drama in your life. Things are, are clear, it's straight up, straightforward. You have a problem, you go straight to the source, you Libras are actually fixing it. Back then, you know, I wanna say literally two weeks ago, you know, maybe even three weeks ago, you know, when you had these type of issues in your life, right? A problem would be like, oh gosh, you gotta now take a knee. You know, you gotta, <clears throat> excuse me, you gotta sit down because something that is small to you now, if a problem comes up, it's small most of the times. You just go handle that. But now, but back then I should say, right? It would have been, you gotta take a knee because you know that anything goes wrong with these dysfunctional people in your life so-called friends, so-called family members, so-called love interests. It would have taken weeks to clear this one problem that took that takes you a week maximum to solve because of their, because of this, those people in your life constantly trying to be a, a, a distraction for you, Libras, right? The two of wands, <clears throat> the two of wands, them trying to be around you and always trying to e to get some sort of emotional reaction out of you. They, they, you know, the, the desperation was real, you know? They were trying to get some sort of emotional reaction from you Libras badly, really trying to get it, <clears throat> really trying to get it up on out of you. And the thing about it is that the uh, Two of Wands, excuse me, Five of Cups, you Libras wasn't sitting down taking that. Now they're regretful that, you, that you're that you not in their life anymore. Now they're regretful, you know, because 
all that time that they spent wasting it trying to do what? Trying to get you Libras to pay them attention. They're not paying attention to how their life is going, which they should. And the chariot, again, you're screening the people that are in your life. You're paying attention to their quality and not just how many so-called friends you have, but the quality of them. Who are they? Are they even trustworthy, right? What kind of value, what do they do, right? Like what, what kind of value do they bring to the table? Do they even have your back? The Knight of Cups and the Empress is about how, because a lot of you Libras have to understand that you are impressionable. There is a reason why the word impress and impress are one letter off because it's, it's the same in essence. You have to be very careful about who you hang out with because you Libras are impressionable. But you're slowly but surely becoming not impressionable by understanding that you are or you once were impressionable and that you have to actually change that about yourself. And now you're in the process of changing it. You Libras are learning from your mistakes. And the Nine of Cups, of course, is the quality of your life has raised. You got less stress in your life. You do. Let's clarify the Empress. And the Empress is Libra, by the way. So you did show up here. So I know what I'm talking about. Let's clarify the Empress. Five of Cups. This is what I'm talking about. The Hermit. Four of Wands. Then you have the Knight of Pentacles. The Eight of Swords. So the Five of Cups and the Hermit is about just as I was talking about. You have some people who are regretful of them being idiots because you're not in their life anymore. You Libras are handling y'all business. Y'all are getting to the bag as y'all want. You know, that, that higher level, that higher standard of living, you Libras are getting to that. The hermit is about how, and you're being much more quiet about it. And that's part of what's getting them is the fact that you Libras are being so quiet about it. You're not really saying what's going on with you. The four of wands, the knight of pentacles, and the eight of, the eight of swords is about how you are doing what you need to do for you. The family members that are still around, the friends that are still around, they're, they're that bring value they're getting the benefits of what you're doing, of course, along with yourself. But because they deserve to get it because they were there and they had your back for real. They really rock with you. And the Eight of Swords, right? The Eight of Swords now is about how, and you're better off with a smaller group of support, smaller group of friends and family and a support system than a larger group where people don't really have your best interest in mind. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the notification bell, set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos. There's a link in the comment section below called a Linktree link. Click on it, it will, re it will redirect you to uh, my website where there's ways to get a private reading, private tarot reading, birth chart reading, as well as get the books that I have that are on Amazon.